Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hino with Misty Knowles Lego Robotics. Today's video, this is a big favorite of mine. It is the 83 forklift. Look at this dude. This guy is awesome. I like anything that has movable parts here where, you know, they pick something up, lifts it, puts it back down again. Um, am I a big fan of tank track? Not really because it makes the driving accuracy a little bit sketchy there. But anyway, this guy's really cool. And if you program this right, you can adjust the inaccuracies. So today what I wanna do is just give you a better in-depth look at this guy and then definitely show you picking this thing up and then dropping it down like a regular forklift. So if you wanna see that, stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Oh. Okay, I wanna give it up for Xander and Yusuf for the build on this. I will caution you if you are going to build this. They, my students tell me that this is not the easiest build, especially when you get to the tank track. I've had students before go, Mr. You know, are we done? Can I take this apart? Um, just because it is pretty lengthy. Um, you can obviously see there are parts that are not just strictly core set pieces. So there are going to be some things and some road bumps and some things that, you know, obstacles that might make this a little tough. So you are forewarned and cautioned. But today, let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. And I definitely am excited to show you guys this thing picking up things. Okay, guys, so here is the forklift. No, I don't know what the ultrasonic's for. No, I think this team added this on here. I know that it would block the vision here. Um, but this forklift here, you have the tank track right here. My students were saying this was really tough. The tough part was the tank track. Um, it's on pretty tight. So let me go ahead and go to motor control and show you what everything is doing here. Um, the medium motor is plugged into D here. So there's the drop. Well, that's pretty violent. And there's the lift. Uh, let's go back There's the drop there's the lift and then the BC motors just have this going So it has the three motors the two BC motors are going to get this going forward and backwards and the D motor is gonna get this forklift to lift. Uh, this team put this in the middle here. This really isn't supposed to be there, so it could actually have things get picked up in the middle. But that's the beauty about, you know, these EV3 builds is they can do kind of what they want. Okay, guys, so the forklift is going to be picking up this shelving and putting it onto, what is that? But anyway, it's gonna put it onto this platform right there. So let's check this out. We're gonna lift up the forklift start the program so cool yeah okay guys so there you have it ooh this guy's pretty heavy I like it though. It's just a, another very cool build and especially for students that are just mechanically inclined that like to see the way things operate. So, you know, if you are a big forklift enthusiast, now you can see how all of that movement, sorry, I'm not, I'm moving this and not, not even showing you. You can actually see how that movement and, you know, mechanics how it all goes together and functions properly to get this thing to do a job like moving heavy objects like in Home Depot and things like that. So I just I'm a big fan of all types of robots again that look like the real thing, whatever that might be. The last one we did was uh, the catapult. We did an inchworm or a worm bot. So I just love all of the robots that look like something that, you know, we see in real life and the students can make that connection. So hopefully you guys liked the forklift today. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
I'm Mr. Hino from Machines Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.